Hi, welcome to Gospel with Greg, and this is the seventh video in my historical thinking series within Gospel with Greg, and in this video we are going to be exploring uh, God's law and artifacts. Um, as you can see that I wrote uh, up on the board there, um, and so this was the uh, most challenging one to try to title um, in this series. Um, but essentially um, what I'm going to be exploring in this video is how the protocol for dealing with um, one of a kind artifacts or historical documents, the protocol for dealing with those, um, how that can help us understand and be a good illustration uh, for understanding the laws and commandments that God gives us to live by. And so uh, the learning objective for this video is um, identifying the practical need for God's commandments that he gives us in his word. And so uh, first off what we're going to do is we're going to look at a couple uh, Bible verses um, that show us what the Bible uh, says about uh, God's laws and commandments that he gives us generally. So first off, we will start in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 6, that says, For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. And so uh, this tells us that God's laws have a purpose to protect us from damage caused by free will choices and then also uh, Romans uh, chapter 3 verse 20 ties into this uh, and it says therefore by the deeds of the law there shall no flesh be justified in his sight for by the law is the knowledge of sin and so God's law his laws and commandments uh, reveal evil and so historical thinking uh, can help us understand um, this and appreciate this um, in a couple different ways. Uh, one big way um, is uh, when it comes to archives. Um, and so with archives in the field of history, um, and some archives might vary depending on what their um, individual protocol or rules are regarding who can go in and what you can do while you're in there. Um, but uh, archives generally do have rules um, regarding those things. Um, so maybe um, who can access these one-of-a-kind documents. Maybe you have a document uh, from the Civil War that's one-of-a-kind. Maybe you have to um, kind of register as a researcher first or maybe there are certain things you're not allowed to take into uh, the room with you when you go in there uh, to examine the document and so the reason of why those rules are in place isn't to be mean uh, to the people that want to look at the document or to restrict the freedom of those people but the reason of why those rules and protocols are there is because those sources are so valuable and so irrepla irreplaceable that those rules help preserve them, help preserve the specialness um, that those things have. And sometimes you can see something similar maybe with museums of how there might be more of an emphasis of damage prevention um, as opposed to uh, insurance, not that they don't have insurance at all necessarily, but um, kind of a high um, emphasis on that kind of damage prevention uh, because, you know, maybe you can get insurance money from damage, but if it's a one-of-a-kind artifact, I mean, really money can't replace that. It's gone. So you really want to take care of those things, and there can be a lot of different protocols in museums as well um, for how the artifacts are cleaned and preserved and taken care of. 
because you really want to take care of those special one-of-a-kind things. And so uh, this is a good way to understand why God puts um, boundaries on different things. Um, and this can apply to a lot of different things. Um, but uh, one specific example, there was a good video I saw about uh, this explaining uh, why God um, puts certain uh, uh, boundaries on things like sexuality because um, many people are aware that um, the Bible does uh, have different uh, laws and commandments from God regulating those types of things and a lot of people in our world today want to um, say things like that just restricts freedom um, but we can see that there's a practical purpose for those boundaries that God puts on those things and again that's not the only application of that um, but um, that's a good way to understand this um, in terms of the types of things that God's law regulates um, again I'll put a link to the in the description um, to that video I mentioned um, but as I watched it I kind of thought of a good historical angle for it um, and so Genesis tells us that we are made in God's image and the New Testament tells us that Jesus was willing to die for us um, tells us that when we were yet sinners Christ died for us and so when we think of it in those terms again if we're talking specifically about maybe laws and commandments in the Bible regulating uh, things like that uh, when it comes to our bodies and things uh, of that nature um, the archive in particular is uh, a good uh, way to understand why those uh, boundaries are there um, so think for example um, you have a book from a public library or maybe a bookstore something very easily accessible that um, theoretically anybody um, could go to that location and get that book fairly easily and compare that to a one-of-a-kind document in an archive um, the unique archival document seems more special than that common book you can just go in and get uh, so easily no matter who you are and that there's not much of a super extensive process to obtaining the book and so uh, there was a situation um, that I kind of experienced with my research as a historian that kind of helped me understand this a little bit more. Um, earlier on in my PhD, um, I was doing a research project um, on a certain Civil War battle. And so for part of my research, I located uh, this certain um, a soldier diary of a soldier that was involved uh, with that campaign and so I had to go through a process of contacting the archive making an appointment um, had to um, uh, basically sign in as a researcher do some paperwork saying um, this is the college that I teach at this is the institution I'm getting my doctorate through uh, and they ran me through some rules of here's what you can take in, here's what you can't. Um, and I had thought about, you know, that that was a lot of steps to take, but once I was able to go into the room and look through uh, the soldier's diary, that process really helped me appreciate just how special that soldier's diary was. You know, if I just went into some random library and pulled it off the shelf, it really wouldn't seem that special. But the fact that I had to go through those steps, there was a process to it, that really helped me appreciate when I sat down with it of, wow, this thing is very special. And, you know, it, just, it, felt, really, it felt really exciting to actually be able to, um, to have that access uh, to that diary because that process really 
it was really uh, set up in a way that helped me uh, be able to to appreciate that and so that's something we need to keep in mind when it comes to these laws and commandments that we have from God of you know if we have that knee-jerk reaction from our flesh of oh it just seems like God just has these in place to restrict my freedom or to tell me I can't do this can't do that we need to really think about you know that perspective especially when it comes to uh, things that involve maybe our bodies is we are made in the image of God and you know we are we in our bodies are sacred and so when God has these things set up of that it's sinful and we to do certain things out of a certain context like marriage it's really preserving that sacredness because again if you just took that one-of-a-kind document that I mentioned and you just said we're just gonna throw it on you know some random public library shelf or you know somewhere else where there's just not really much you know not nearly as much uh, extensive protocol to get it it's not going to get the care that it needs to preserve that specialness and that sacredness that it has and so when it comes to these kinds of things I think it's important for us to ask ourselves would you rather be the library book or would you rather be that archival document so uh, thank you all for watching this video. Hope it was informative. Until next time, God bless.